Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today, the great solemnity of the Pentecost, we receive the gifts and graces coming from the Holy Spirit. Today, let us beg our Lord Jesus Christ to send us the Spirit of the Father, especially the Spirit of peace that we need at this moment. And so, to prepare ourselves to receive the gifts of the Spirit in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan. Papuri sa Diyos. 
sa'yo sa kaitaasan, at sa luhay kapayapan sa mga taong pinalulugan niya. Pinupuri ka namin, inaramal ka namin, sinasamba ka namin, ipinagubuli ka namin. Pinasasalamatan ka namin, dahil sa dahilan mo aming kapurihan. Panginoong Diyos, Narin ang langit, Diyos ang makapangyarihan sa lahat. Panginoong Yesu Cristo, buong na anak, Panginoong Diyos, Solero ng Diyos, Anak na Ama. Nagaalis ang mga kasalanan ng sandiputan, mahawa ka sa amin. Ikaw na nagaalis ang mga kasalanan ng sandiputan, tagawin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na nalulubog sa kanang ama, maawa ka sa amin. Sa pagkat ikaw lamang ang banal, ikaw lamang ang Panginoon, ikaw lamang. Yesu Cristo, ang katas tas ang kasama ng Espiritu Santo sa katilan ng Dios Ama. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, 
Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please Stand. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below, in our labor, rest most sweet. Grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being feel. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought. Nothing free from taints of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness, pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descend, give them virtues, sure reward, 
Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The greeting of Jesus to his disciples is this. Peace be with you. And this is the gift of the Spirit. This fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of peace, is given to us, especially today, as we commemorate Pentecost this Sunday. Hilingin po natin sa Espiritu Santo ang biyaya ng kapayapaan. Peace of our hearts, peace of mind. This is what we need in this time of pandemic. Kailangan na kailangan po natin ang biyaya ng kapayapaan galing sa Espiritu Santo. At umasa po tayo na sa misang ito, sa pagdiriwang natin ng Banal na Eucharistia, na bumababa ang Espiritu Santo upang tayo ay bigyan ng kanyang mga biyaya. Hilingin po natin ang biyaya ng kapayapaan. Let us ask the Holy Spirit in this celebration to gift us with the blessing of peace. And my dear brothers and sisters, today, in our readings, we will see if the Spirit can give us this peace, how does He work for peace? How does He teach us about peace? Paano kaya ibinibigay sa atin ng Espiritu Santo ang kapayapaan. 
in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see one way in which the Holy Spirit grants us the gift of peace. We see in our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles the story of the first Pentecost. How did the Holy Spirit grant them the gift of peace? We will see in the story that in that first community, there were many people coming from different places. Parthians, Medes, Elamites, from Mesopotamia, Phrygia, Egypt, Libya, Jews, Arabs, Cretans, Romans, different people. And when you have different people from different places, they speak different languages. Iba-ibang mga wika. And for most part, many times, we will see that our languages become barriers. Our identities, our nationalities, most of the time, become barriers. Parang kung taga saan ka, minsan nagiging hadlang tuloy ang salita mo, kung taga saan ka, sino ang kababayan mo, parang yan tuloy ang nagiging hadlang. But the Holy Spirit teaches us that His gift of peace is seen when even the barriers of language, of nationality, of race is now brought down by the Spirit and the gift of peace is given to us. Pinapakita po sa atin ng Espiritu Santo na ang biyaya ng kapayapaan ay makukuha natin kung aalisin natin yung mga hadlang. Aalisin natin yung mga division sa atin. Yan ang ginawa ng Espiritu Santo upang magkaroon ng kapayapaan sa gitna ng pamayanan. Kaya po ngayon pa lamang, sana tingnan na natin, tayo ba, do we discriminate people be just because they speak this language? Just because they are from this province or from this area? Minsan, mayroon po tayong maganyang pag-iisip. Halimbawa, kapag sinabi ko, ang isang tao ay Ilocano, ano agad ang naiisip nyo? Hindi ko nasasabihin, no? Kasi alam na natin, no? Minsan, ah, may ganyan na tayong pag-iisip, ah, Ilocano, ganito yan, no? Ah, Ilonggo, ganito yan. Kapampangan, ganito yan, no? Minsan naman, yung mga taga-Visayas, galit naman sa mga Tagalog. Ay, Tagalog yan, no? Mayabang yan, no? Kasi taga-Maynila yan, mayabang, no? So, minsan nagkakaroon tayo ng ganyan. Kapwa-Pilipino na natin, naghihiwahiwalay pa tayo. And people sometimes take advantage of this. There are people who want us divided. So, some people would say, ah, kami ang Visayas block, kami ang Ilonggo block, kami ang Mindanao block, kami ang Ilocano block, Bicolano block. Yan, gusto nila naghihiwahiwalay tayo so that they could control when we are divided. But the Holy Spirit teaches us today that even differences in languages in cultures, in nationalities, can become not barriers, but can become a unifying factor. That is why in our second reading today, St. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, teaches us that there are different kind of spiritual gifts. 
different forms of service that the Spirit gives to different peoples. And these differences in gifts should not become a, uh, should not become hindrances to unity, but like a body where there are different parts, we can become united in the one body of Christ, in one spirit. We can achieve peace in our community when we are able to appreciate the gifts of one another. There are gifts that can be given to us by the Ilongos. Hindi ko alam kung sino mga Ilonggo dito. No? There are gifts that can be given to us by the Ilocanos. Gifts that can be given to us by Bicolanos. And all of these gifts can contribute to the body, the church, to the country. The past few weeks, we have been having the community pantry here in Intramuros, and we have been also helping in different community pantries in different parishes nearby. Sa Baseco, dito po sa Ermita, Malate area, nakapagbibigay po tayo dahil po sa mga tulong ninyo. At alam niyo po, isa sa mga tulong na dumarating sa atin ay galing hindi ko sa Maynila, galing ko sa iba-ibang probinsya. Minsan ko nagmisa ako ng umaga. Sabi ko, ano ba yung amoy na yon? Bakit sabi ko naaamoy ko yung hindi magandang amoy? No? Yun pala, nagpadala ng 300 kilos ng tuyo galing sa Iloilo area. No? Sabi ko, yung pala, amoy tuyo ang Manila Cathedral ng ilang araw. No? Ilang araw ko namin binuksan ng mga ano, para mawala yung amoy. No? Pero sabi ko, salamat sa mga ilonggo sa biyaya ng tuyo. Masarap ang almusal natin dahil sa kanila. So salamat. We thank the people, the fishermen in that area for sharing their produce to us. Nabubusog ang mga taga Maynila dahil sa mga ilonggo. No? The other time, we received hundreds of sacks of rice from Nueva Ecija. Yan ang tawag natin na the, the rice granary of the country. Diyan galing ang ating mga bigas. Thank you because you have contributed to ease the hunger of many people. The other time, we receive vegetables from Baguio, from Benguet. Ating mga kababayan diyan, salamat. Yan ang biyaya ninyo. At dahil sa biyaya ninyo, ay lalong lumalakas ang katawan ni Kristo, ang pamayanan, ang simbahan. So instead of just thinking about our differences, as hindrances to unity, we should receive the gift of the Spirit, appreciate the gifts of one another so that we could have peace. Sa June 24 po ay darating ang ating bagong arsobispo ng Maynila, Cardinal Jose Advincula. His installation will be on June 24. He is from Capis, na Capis non. And many people are already, you know, trying to evaluate him just because he is from Capis. No? Marami ang nag-iisip agad, no? ah, ano bang ugali ng taga-Capis? Ano ba ang kanilang paraan ng pagsasalita? How do they work? Minsan na nabibigyan na rin ng agad ng labels, no? Will he be like Cardinal Sin? Will he be like Cardinal Rosales or Cardinal Tagle? Alam nyo, kapag inunahan agad natin, ay hindi na natin nakikita yung gift niya na kukusgahan na agad natin. So we pray for the Holy Spirit and we know that the gift of our new Archbishop, Cardinal Advincula, 
is a gift from the Spirit. And we will see in Him also a different gift coming from the Holy Spirit. That is how we can achieve peace. And in our Gospel reading today, we see Jesus giving peace to His disciples who are afraid. They are afraid of the Jews at that time who were trying to persecute them. But Jesus gives them peace and tells them, Peace be with you. And now, I send you so that you could forgive sins. Forgiveness that gives us peace. Kung tayo po ay pinagkakaisa ng Espiritu Santo sa iba-ibang mga biyayang binibigay niya, sinasabi rin ni Jesus sa atin ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng kapayapaan kung mayroong pagpapatawad. If the Spirit gives us peace in the forms of different gifts, the Spirit also grants us peace if there is forgiveness and reconciliation. We pray for the different countries who are now suffering because of war, because of violence, because of deep-seated wounds that allow them to hurt one another, to treat one another not as brothers and sisters, but as enemies. That is why there is no peace. Peace can be a gift of the Spirit. And we ask the Holy Spirit to grant us this peace. Peace coming from forgiveness. Not out of fear, but out of forgiveness. My dear brothers and sisters, this day is Pentecost Sunday. And we are asking the Holy Spirit for this precious gift of peace. Marami po sa atin ang nangangailangan ng kapayapaan ngayong araw, ngayong mga panahon na ito. Natatakot, nangangamba, mga lugar na mayroong alitan, pag-aaway, mayroong mga lugar na hindi nagkakaisa dahil magkakaiba. Ang lahat ng ito ay masusolusyonan kung hihilingin natin kay Jesus nadalhin ang Espiritu Santo sa atin. At kapag tayo ay pinuspos ng Espiritu Santo, sundin ang biyaya at daan ng banal na Espiritu. We pray that in this Mass, let us open our hearts to the Holy Spirit and He will grant us the gift of peace. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Since God endows us with the gift of His own life by imparting the Holy Spirit, let us come to Him with prayers inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let us come to Him alive and free in the Divine Presence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been signed and sealed with the Holy Spirit, that this church may be united as one body made of many parts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peoples of the world who do not know God, that the Spirit of truth proclaimed to every nation may indeed renew the face of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the outpouring of the Spirit of peace, that men and women may know the forgiveness of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered by God, that the Spirit who makes holy our Eucharistic gifts may strengthen and refresh us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the departed, that they may be made perfect in the life-giving Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us also offer special prayers for our brothers and sisters in India and also in Israel and Palestine who are at this moment in need of healing and peace. Father all-powerful, receive these prayers from a people made one by the Holy Spirit who always dwells within us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Oh 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, Open to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo, Santo, Santo Panginoong Diyos na makapangyarihan, napupuno ang langit at lupa ng katawinan mo. O sana, o sana, sa gaitaasan, O sana, O sana, sa itaasan, pinagpala ang naparirito sa ngalan ng Panginoon. O sana, O sana, sa itaasan, O sana, O sana, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease aga to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan, kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasa walang hanggan. Amen, 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 Alleluia. Puri ng Dios, puri ng Dios, Amen, Alleluia. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Sa pagkat sa iyong kaharian, kapangyarihan at kapurihan, ngayon at magpakailanman, ngayon at magpakailanman. Lord,
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard we pray the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we close the Easter season today with the great solemnity of the Pentecost, we would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration those who have come here physically in the Manila Cathedral, those who are outside joining us in this celebration, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta sa Manila Cathedral. And we are very happy to again welcome you all back here in this cathedral. And uh, we would like also to continue thanking those who are watching us online, those who are continuing to support the Manila Cathedral through your donations. Maraming salamat po at napakalaking tulong po ng inyong ipinapadala para sa amin dito sa Manila Cathedral. And even those who are joining us from other countries who are watching our Sunday Masses, thank you for uh, joining and following the Manila Cathedral and also helping us in promoting our mission to spread the Word of God. May the gift of the Holy Spirit fill your hearts today and may the Holy Spirit also fill your homes, your families, and your loved ones with the gift of His peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit now and forever. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light now and forever. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Regina Celi, Lepare, Alleluia, Pia, Eberuisi, Orare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicudixit, Alleluia, Ora Pronobis Deus.